Well, Seattle homicide detectives are investigating after finding a body in Renton. That discovery comes just 11 days since the disappearance of a mother last seen at a Mariners game back on March 31st. Fox 13's Frankie Thompson is live at the King County Jail with much more on that investigation, including new allegations against the suspect connected to this case. Yes, today, King County prosecutors charged Brett Gitchell with burglary for an incident happening just a few days before he attended that baseball game at T-Mobile Park with Leticia Martinez. Seattle police say they can't confirm if the body found in the woods in Renton is that of Leticia, but say detectives got some leads pointing them to a very specific location. Down this road, in the middle of the woods, a large police presence in Renton on April 11th. Two big vans, a corner, and about eight police cars. People who live nearby have several surveillance cameras set up. During an investigation, homicide detectives with Seattle Police Department received leads to this location. Through the trees and tall grass, detectives found a body. News of the discovery unsettling for the neighborhood. I would hope that this is not that person, you know, uh, from the Mariners game. It's I, you know, I would hate to see anybody. It was just sad. The King County Medical Examiner's Office will positively identify who was found in the woods and their cause of death. But the timing and location of the finding may be no coincidence. On April 2nd, Leticia Martinez was reported missing. She was last seen alive on March 31st at a Seattle Mariners game with Brett Gitchell, the same man accused of trying to strangle Leticia's son Patrick on Talbot Road on April 2nd. That's only about a mile from the location where detectives found this body. King County prosecutors were called to the scene. Every time there's a homicide in King County, regardless of what day it is, it could be a holiday, it could be the middle of the night, King County prosecutors are at that scene and they're following that case all the way through. Casey McNursney, spokesperson for the King County Prosecuting Attorney's Office, says Gitchell is charged with several counts, including kidnapping and attempted murder for attacking Patrick. And as more information develops about what happened to Leticia, more charges could follow. We're watching very closely to see what the medical examiner's office does and we're in contact with Seattle police every day sometimes multiple times a day and we're going to continue to be because the public expects us to be on top of a case like this or, or any violent crime. While in custody Gitchell told police during questioning that he had not been to a Mariners game even though he was still wearing an attendance wristband from T-Mobile Park. It wasn't until police showed him Leticia's selfie that Gitchell admitted he was at the game with her and then told detectives he wanted a lawyer. Gitchell has a long criminal history, convicted for several crimes, including stealing cars and assaults. He is now here at King County Jail being held on several charges, accused of attacking a Leticia's son. He will be arraigned on those charges scheduled for April 24th. Reporting live in Seattle, Frankie Thompson, Fox 13 News.